Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. I've um, spent the morning designing a new sticker which you can see in the background here. Um, yeah and I've also been preparing orders um, since my launch on Friday so I've been doing that. I've been trying to take it easy today because I had a little bit of a dizzy spell earlier so just been trying to just chill and illustrate and yeah take things a bit slowly. Um, yesterday we went to Comic Con in Cardiff and I bought lots of stuff <laughs> um, including this new pop figure. Look at him! I love Scooby Doo. Um, but yeah I'm just rambling on now so yeah let's get on with the studio vlog. <laughs> guys it is Tuesday and I'm feeling a lot better today than I was yesterday yesterday was a bit of a groggy day after I had my little dizzy spell I don't know what happened maybe I wasn't eating enough although I did have breakfast and lunch and I don't know so my plan today is to eat loads <laughs> I've already had cake and um, just finished my porridge with an orange juice and a cup of tea. Yeah, being a petite lady, I can just lose weight so easily, which is a blessing and a curse. Me and Cal started CrossFit in April and I have struggled because I am built like a noodle. <laughs> so I think obviously I'm burning a lot more calories than what I'm eating. Although I, I eat like a normal person, I just burn it off, like, without doing anything. <sighs> um, so yeah, I just need to eat even more to stop myself from feeling dizzy. Like, I'd go CrossFit, and obviously it's hard, you know, but I'd come home and have a migraine or a nosebleed or a panic attack just because I'm feeling like super, super dizzy, my head is pounding, and I don't know. And like, I know you're supposed to feel tired and it's supposed to be challenging, but I feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> so my plan today is to eat loads, loads and loads, and then see what I'm like later in CrossFit. But knowing me, I'll probably get a stitch. So we'll see. Anyway, I thought I would do a little Comic-Con haul just to show you what I bought. Uh, kind of Comic-Con was really fun, Although it's, it's a small event compared to the other Comic Cons in the UK, um, I haven't been for a few years, so this year was a lot more fun than I remember. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the haul. So, first I will show you these cute little socks that I got from a stall. So here's Totoro, and look at his little fluffy ears. And these were two for five pound, two pounds for five pound, and a little um, Spirited Away with No Face and Haku and Chihiro or Sam. <laughs> and then I bought this cute notebook. Um, I'm not really a fan of Gengar that much, but look at it. It's so cute. But the inside is blank, which is perfect for me. This is from Ohio or Ohio, Ohio. Um, yeah, it's really cute. And her stall was lovely. And then, lots of stickers. And a collection of business cards. I'll just go through these. So at one stall, I did a lucky dip and they had like a little jar full of these pills. And then inside there was um, a scroll, but mine was blank, as you can see. But that meant that I won a sticker and I got to choose which sticker I could have. So I chose this little cute Kirby. And then, we actually found Animal Crossing stickers. We searched through the whole of the con to find anything related to Animal Crossing. I don't know why it's so hard to find, maybe it's just Cardiff, but 
We found these cute stickers and you also have like a load of prints and badges and this is by Mr. Echo Angel and you can find him there on his website. We also spoke to a few of the um, artists and illustrators and one of my favourites was Sarah Millman. Um, there's her business card and we were speaking to her and she's a comic book designer, comic artist, comic book artist. Um, and yeah, she creates a comic called NPCT, I think it is, N N NPC and then T, as in a cup of tea. And it was about um, a tea shop in Cardiff, but the people that own it and the people that go there are all fantasy based, so like elves and orcs and wizards, I guess. And it just looked really cool, like her colour palette is amazing and that's her illustration style there. So I'm gonna check her out on Instagram and I kind of wish I bought the first um, comic, but maybe I can order it online. So yeah, she was really cool. And then my final purchase was my Scooby Pop figure, which I've taken out of the box, controversial I know. There he is. I seen this little guy and I fell in love. I think it's because he, reminds me of my dog Max. Um, I haven't said on my vlogs but he um, passed away a few weeks ago um, but yeah I seen him and I was like oh I don't I don't need it. I walked around the whole of the con and I was like oh, I really really want him so I went through the whole of the con and I was like oh I don't know I don't know but yeah I managed I just got him because he reminds me of Max. Um, Max's favourite toy, or one of his favourite toys, was a Scooby-Doo plush and his personality reminds me of him. So I got him and he's really soft and he's going to just sit on my desk next to my computer with me. And I think that was everything. I left comic -Con, so it was a good day. Now I think I'm just going to get on with the day, actually get to work. Uh, I need to package some orders and pack a finished save the date collection here we go so these are all finished and finish off some place names which are here so these need to be filed and then folded i think that's it but yeah so let's get on with the working day a few printer troubles this week so for some reason the drum in this laser printer has become scratched this is the drum and this green bit here is somehow full of scratches and then when I print stuff out I don't know if you can notice but there's horizontal black lines coming out on all my prints which is not good when I need to foil things. So I looked at replacement drums and they're around 60 quid. So I bought a knockoff, like a fake drum, which was 10 pound. And I tried it just now, 
it looks super clean but I put it in my printer and the print quality is awful look at all those little spots and lines so I'm gonna return that and uh, I don't know either get a proper replacement drum for £60 or just replace the printer entirely okay let's try this No, I think it's broke. There's no getting those scratches out. And I don't know why it started to print a black line down the side of the page. So I know why I was printing a black line down the side of the page. I was cleaning this, which you just got to slide back and forth. But once you finish, you're supposed to put it down this side and it clicks into position. So now there's a huge black stripe along the drum uh, it's broke anyway. I think I'm gonna have to get a new one. File stuff is on hold at the moment. Good morning, today's Friday and it's been a bit of a hectic week. I don't know if you can tell but I'm full up with a cold so I haven't filmed much um, because I've looked like death. Um, yeah, my printer broke two days ago so I should be getting a new one today, hopefully. It's the printer that I use to do foiling. So yeah, that's not good. So basically, the hair looks greasy, but it's not, I promise. But yeah, so basically all the things that need foiling, like business cards, um, wedding invitations, place names like these, um, can't be done at the moment. So it's um, not ideal. But thanks to Amazon Prime, I have one coming today because I'm hoping to take half day today because Zelda is out and I can't wait. And I've pre-ordered it, it's downloaded on my Switch and I want to play it now, but I have work to do. But I haven't filmed much this week because I've been ill and it's been boring and stuff's been going on, like boring printer breakdowns. I've been working on some Christmas stickers. Ooh, I need to tell you. But I've been accepted to have a store at Etsy Made Local this Christmas, which is a Christmas um, handmade craft market run by um, local Etsy team. And it'll be my first market that I've done in probably eight years. So yes, I am nervous and excited. I'm so happy that I've got, that I got accepted. So I've been preparing for that. I want my store to look amazing. Um, I've been watching Emily Harvey's YouTube channel and she's been doing some craft stalls and she has some amazing tips on her channel so if you're doing any stalls um, check out her channel I'll link it below. I've mainly been doing bits of other work like client work, some graphic design, some logos, maybe I'll do a little um, section on how I use Affinity Designer or maybe how I use my Cricut or how I use my foiling machine. Yes, we'll see. Maybe I'll do one of those um, next week. I don't know which one, so it'll be a surprise for me and you because I don't plan ahead. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's get on with the working day. arrived apparently it's the updated version of this one but this one is gray and I don't want gray I like black it matches um yeah I'm just gonna try and set it up now wish me luck
It makes a much nicer sound than my other printer. It's really smooth and a bit quieter. There's no lines, no smudges. Ah, oh, finally. Now I'm gonna foil these just to check that the toner is perfect quality. Take a look. Bits of specs, but maybe I should have turned the heat up a little bit more. So, thankfully, my first impressions are good. The setup was a lot easier than I remember than my old printer. Yeah, I'm up and sorted. I think that took about half an hour. Yeah, the only thing, for some reason, the toner is a lot, well, not a lot, but more expensive for this printer than it was for my old one. My other printer, um, the toner cost 50 pound and this one cost 60 pound for a new cartridge, which is ridiculous considering the printer cost 99 but I've tried um, other brands of toner before they're just not as good especially when you want to do foiling but yeah so far so good I'll uh, keep you updated so today is Tuesday and I've been working on a few new bits including this new invitation style it's not perfected I'm having a few issues with this printer for some reason I don't think the ink quality is as good um, you can see a few specs here which is more than usual um i always expect and let customers know that because i use hot foiling process there may be some specs from time to time in their designs but this is a bit much so basically i need to perfect this design it's a trifold with foil on top of watercolor and then the two personalized uh, star signs and then it'll open up I'm not sure whether to keep the inside as foiled or to leave it as like um, matte black or something. Um, but yeah, it's nice because it has everything in one place, including the RSVP, the information, dates, times, and then it all folds back up nicely. And it even makes a nice little display stand like that. But yeah, I've been working on that. Um, <laughs> I also. Um, been trying a few things. Um, this is a failure, but it's something that I've learned from and I've ordered different materials and I'm going to keep trying it because I would really like to offer acrylic foiled um, invitations. So yes, this, this is a disaster, but I, I'm hoping to fix it. <laughs> just had my new um, printer drum arrive and I'm gonna replace it in my old printer because this one hasn't been performing as well as I had hoped um, I don't know whether it's the ink or it's just not um, foiling like the foil isn't attaching to this ink correctly so I'm gonna replace the drum in this printer and then hope it works drum unit has been reset um, I'm just gonna print some bits and then run them through the foiling machine and then see how it goes from there hopefully it's the same as what it was before it broke okay so upon further inspection which is just as I suspected is the new printer 
isn't as good as my old printer and I have no idea why because it's actually supposed to be the updated version so it should be the same if not better so this is my old printer with the new drum um, we have a little bit of specs which is to be expected when using the hot foil process but I would say it's 99% perfect this is the new printer there's specs all over the file, which leads me to think that the ink just isn't as good. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, these two printers, although that one is the updated version of that one, they don't use the same ink. So this uses a different um, toner, sorry. But this is obviously um, got a higher pigment or higher dots per inch, even though I selected 1200 for both of them. Um, this one is just better. It's older, it's discontinued. I paid about £60 for it, whereas this one is £99. Um, but yeah, it's the foil that I use my laser printers for, so I will be keeping this one and sending this one back. So yeah, um, I'm sorry if this one has been rather boring. It's been all about printers, but sometimes that's just what happens when you run your own business and um, there's loads of technical issues that you have to try and fix yourself <laughs> I'm hoping to fun to fun I'm hoping to fun I'm hoping to film some more fun bits now hopefully I, if I can get on with actual work Wednesday today and I'm up and I'm showered and I put makeup on and I done my nails which was a partial disaster because I got glue on my desk. So first I'm going to get back to my client emails and then I'm hoping to start some silver foil place names and some table numbers along with some sticker foiling and then I've also started catnips um, inktober prompts because I know I won't be able to draw every single day in October, so I've started them now and hopefully I'll show you some of my sketches for those. Today is Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Um, it's freezing, and I realise I'm spinning around. What is? Sorry if you feel a bit motion sick, but um, I need, I need to stop. I just stand up. But today I'm spending the day making silver foil place names. Is Emily Harvey art in the background? Um, yeah. So I'll um just show you how I do it. So I set up my document on Affinity Designer, um, then I sent it to print in my laser printer.
Then once these are all printed, I put them through my foiling machine. This is a Heidi Swap Mink machine. It's basically a glorified laminator, but um, made for the purpose of foiling. So I switch it on at the back and put it on a heat setting of three. Smooth matte paper, so the heat setting doesn't need to be too high, but we don't want it too low, so otherwise the foil won't stick. I grab a laminating pouch, place a sheet in and place it over foil side up. Make sure the foil is covering all the black toner. I just pop it through the laminator and wait for it to come out the other side. Then once it's come out of the machine, um, just open up the folder and I'm going to try and do this with one hand, but you just peel off the foil. And as you can see, the foil has stuck to the toner, and now it is silver. So now these are all printed out and foiled. The next step would be to cut them. So now that these are all printed and foiled and cut, I'm going to be making a um, silver backing card border just to add some thickness to the card and um, I think you'll look nice with the border. So now that the glitter card has all been cut out it's time to glue each piece onto the background. I left these overnight so they should be nice and flat. So now these We'll be going on 10 folded uh, cards and then table numbers are done. So these will be put on um, pegs, I assume, or um, whatever the bride has to display these frames, pegs, little stands. And there you have it, that's the place names and table numbers done. So that's what they look like. And the table number. So yeah, they're all done. Um, I'm going to end the vlog here now because it's Friday and Cal will be home soon. Yeah, I have no idea where I filmed because I think I've left it like three weeks till my last, since my last upload. So. Um, I have no idea how long this will be, so sorry if it's long or short. Um, but uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.